Bitcoin staking is now open for everyone. Babylon Genesis Phase 2 has commenced and now after a two weeks trial period with limited access to Bitcoin staking, everyone can natively stake Bitcoin via Babylon Genesis. So this includes all the testnet participants that staked Bitcoin during their testnet phase one and everyone else out there that holds self-custodial Bitcoin. We can now use Babylon Genesis to stake our Bitcoins and earn some juicy yield on top. And this is a fundamental breakthrough in the evolution of Bitcoin because for the very first time Babylon introduces a third use case for Bitcoin. Until now, as we all know, Bitcoin could have been used or is actively used as a store of value, aka digital gold, but you can also use Bitcoin as a value transfer. You can use the Bitcoin blockchain to transfer value from point A to point B all over the world, fully permissionlessly. Nobody can stop you. And now, for the first time, we can use Bitcoin as a staking asset in order to provide security to other proof of stake networks like Babylon itself and in the future many other proof-of-stake chains like Osmosis or Sui. So how does it work? In order to stake your Bitcoin natively on the Bitcoin chain via Babylon you have to go to btcstaking.babylonlabs.io. On their dashboard we can now either stake Bitcoins if we haven't done it before or we can migrate our Bitcoins that we staked during the testnet and I will show you both how it works. So first step, we have to connect our wallets. Initially, we have to approve here the terms of use and the privacy rules. Then we hit on next. Um, the second step, like we have to select our Bitcoin wallet, self-custodial Bitcoin wallet where we hold our Bitcoin. So in my case, it's the OK, OKX wallet. We connect it. And then secondly, we have to select a Babylon wallet, which supports the Babylon Genesis chain. And as Babylon is a Cosmos native chain, I use the Kepler wallet in order to interact with Babylon natively. All right, now both of my wallets are connected. And as you see, currently I have zero Bitcoin staked and I have an available Bitcoin balance of 0.003421 Bitcoins. I also have 200 baby tokens liquid in my wallet and currently zero staking rewards. So here, if you haven't staked Bitcoin before, you can do it here. So it's pretty straightforward. Here are all the finality providers. So you might ask what are fi finality providers? Just think of finality providers as validators on proof of stake chains, but finality providers are like the validators on proof of work chains. In this case, um, the Bitcoin chain. So all the validators that validate on Babylon, they have to run a native validator on the Babylon chain and a finality provider on the Bitcoin side of things. So here you simply choose your favorite uh, finality provider. Of course, on top of this list, there are all the LSD uh, tokens, like the liquid staking and token provider, and they have lots of Bitcoin and also keep an eye on the commissions. I mean, 8% is rather high, I think. 5% is fair and 3% is optimal. Just scroll down. You don't really want to delegate with uh, to these big guys over here. I personally prefer Stakesido, like the community validator, and yeah, they have a 3% commission rate, which is pretty fair. Choose Stakesido, come over here, and yeah, choose the amount of Bitcoin you wanna stake. So here the minimum is 0 0.005. So in my wallet, I have less than that amount liquid, so we cannot do it. But if you are new here, just yeah, enter the amount, click on preview, and you will stake your Bitcoin natively. But I, what I really wanted to show you here, the migration process from the testnet tokens onto the Babylon Genesis chain. So as you see here, four months ago, I staked 0 0.075 Bitcoin with a stake zero, and here the status is pending registration. So for now, my Bitcoins are here in this pool, but they're not securing the Babylon chain, and in the future, many more so-called Bitcoin secured networks, uh, networks like Osmosis will become one, or Sui Network, and many others. So these chains will also inherit um, um, Bitcoin security and yeah now we have to um, register in order to make this migration so that we can actually earn yield on our staked Bitcoin because for now they're just sitting there and not really earning any yield so we click on register um, you're about to register your Bitcoin stake to Babylon Genesis the registration requires consenting to slashing and the association of your Babylon Genesis account with your Bitcoin address all right so like both addresses have to be linked that yeah, in the background, the validators can assign these two addresses to each other. So we click on proceed. 
And here, guys, a very important thing which confused me a lot yesterday when I tried to do this transition. And like, I was a bit shocked, to be honest, because over here you see in my wallet that uh, we have to pay a Bitcoin network fee of 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is around $95. And this is just horrendously much for like migrating our stake. And I was super reluctant to do it. And I didn't confirm the transaction and went straight to their um, Discord in order to figure out what's going on here. Like first, where does this fee get deducted? Get, does it get deducted from my active stake? Or do I have to keep 0 0.01 Bitcoin? Uh, liquid in my Bitcoin wallet in order to pay for this transaction. Like, what's going on? Is there an alternative way to pay less? And yeah, after some forth and back, um, basically I figured it out. And big shout out here to Dan, which, yeah, he was super helpful on the Babylon Discord. So what's going on with this fee? This is not a fee that you have to pay. Like, in the migration process, the only fee that we pay is a small transaction fee on the Babylon chain, which is less than a cent. So here he says it like, well, the Bitcoin fee is a pre-signature amount that covers the fees involving in a slashing event. So in order to earn rewards on our Bitcoins, we stake them and staking, of course, inherits some risk because if you put some st uh, something at stake, there must be some penalty for you when you misbehave and that's the slashing event. And should you misbehave or like the uh, finality provider misbehave, your Bitcoin gets slashed so you get penalized. But on the other side, if everything goes um, well, then you will earn some rewards and slashing, don't be afraid. It won't happen if you delegate to a legitimate finality provider. And in the case of such a slashing event, like this amount here will be deducted from your staked Bitcoin balance along with the slash. And the slash is 0.1 of your staked amount. So should your finality provider misbehave, and let's say you delegated one Bitcoin uh, to that guy, 0.1% will be deducted in a slashing event and 0.001 Bitcoin will be used to pay for the slashing transaction, which will then get redirected to the um, validator. So for you right now in the migration process is totally free. Don't worry over here. Um, sorry, where was it? This fee is only deducted in the case of a slashing event. And yeah, then I just um, wanted to double check it. And that's right, the only transaction involved happens on Babylon Genesis. Um, yeah, and also here again, he says, yeah, the 0 0.001 Bitcoin is not an actual cost. It will only be deducted in a slashing event. All right, so now that we know what's going on under the hood, let me show you how to migrate. So this is basically, we sign a contract that in the case of the slashing event, this amount will be deducted from our active stake. Right now, we don't have to pay it and you don't have to have this amount liquid in your Bitcoin wallet. Very important. So we confirm. And then over here, you get this um, yeah, risk notification and you cannot advance and uh, like proceed here. Just click on the advanced option and now you can continue here. Now we can confirm the transaction. And as you see, like there is no gas fee involved at all. We confirm one more time. Like now here, what happens, we link our Bitcoin address, which is this one, to our Babylon address. Good reminder, I have to probably hide this one. Um, and now the only transaction that we have to sign happens on the Babylon Genesis chain. So give me a second to unlock my ledger. All right, ledger unlocked. And here, let's approve this transaction. You see, you need a little baby. Yeah, that's the only requirement. You need some baby on the Babylon Genesis um, chain to migrate or stake or yeah, stake Bitcoin natively. Let's approve the transaction. Ooh, lots of clicking to do. All right, now we're processing. Registration submitted. Your staking transaction has been successfully registered to Babylon Genesis. Congrats. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we see here in uh, the dashboard that we have an active Babylon Genesis stake of 0 0.075 Bitcoin. It is delegated to Stakecito, our finality provider. The status is active and we are earning 1.66% APY. And over here, you already see that we um, got some baby rewards. And you might ask, yeah, 1.6% staking APR is actually not that high, but for Bitcoin, it's not that bad. Usually Bitcoin holders don't earn any yield. And this yield might increase or decrease um, yeah, according to several things. So the first one is, of course, the more people that stake Bitcoin, the lower this yield will be. 
But in the future, as I shortly mentioned before, there will be other chains becoming so-called Bitcoin secured networks, BNSs, like SUI network, Osmosis, and many others. And those folks will redirect some of their chain's yield to Bitcoin stakers. So the more BNSs there are, the higher this yield will go. And for now, this yield consists solely out of baby uh, staking rewards. Um, Babylon went live one week ago and they have a current inflation of 8% and 50% of those 8% goes to um, baby stakers on the Babylon Genesis uh, chain and the other 50% um, is paid out to Bitcoin stakers like we are here. So yeah, just that's um, a short overview of where the yield is coming from. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically it. Yeah, the, the final thing, you can always unbond your Bitcoin over here. If you unbond, it will take seven days for your Bitcoin to become liquid again, and then you can send it back to, I don't know, Osmosis or any centralized exchange to sell or trade it there. And the unbonding will cost 0 0.00032 Bitcoin, which was just recently reduced via a governance proposal. And I guess that's somewhere around 25 bucks. So just keep that in mind. And if you have other questions, feel free to read uh, through their FAQ. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys is the brand new Bitcoin staking interface on the Kepler dashboard. As most cosmonauts might be familiar with the Kepler staking dashboard, it's just a place where we stake all of our Cosmos coins like Adam, Dia, Baby, Akash, you name it. And now over here you can find the Bitcoin um, logo as well. And yeah, it basically uses um, the Babylon Bitcoin staking protocol in the background, but you can do it the very same thing that we just did um, over here, like not the, the migration process, you have to do it here on uh, Babylon. But if you just want to stake Bitcoin, as uh, I showed you initially in the video, you can also do that on, directly on Kepler. So just connect your um, Bitcoin wallet. And now lately, um, Kepler also supports Bitcoin natively. So Kepler is really becoming a multi-chain wallet or the true interchain wallet as it supports now all EVM chains, all Cosmos chains and Bitcoin as well. So yeah, just link it. Unfortunately, they don't have a hardware wallet support now, but I'm sure they will integrate it pretty soon. You can come here, uh, choose whatever amount of Bitcoin you would like to stake. Uh, you choose your finality provider and you stake it here. And of course, you can also claim your um, staking rewards all here directly in the Kepler dashboard. As you see, just uh, the Bitcoin that we staked before, it already earned us some baby staking rewards. We can simply claim them or claim and stake directly through this dashboard. All right, that's all. Sepmos out. Thanks for watching, guys.